Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you Transformers um, Collection G1 reissue of Megatron. Now, uh, Megatron has uh, a lot of stuff. First thing first, a lot of stuff. Um, do I need to say anything about Megatron? If I have to say, one word is enough. Bad ass. I'm so glad that I get this guy, and uh, I got this guy uh, a few months ago, or half years ago, and uh, today I'm going to review it. Now, first things first, we get, we'll get only talk about the um, major transformation and the accessory it comes with. Uh, not going to talk about the, the whole, you know, part forming thing, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Megatron uh, retains his overall look as a, you know, Walter P-38. It's basically the same thing. Um, Walter P-38, yes. Um, it's pretty heavy. Uh, the size, I think, is a little smaller than the real thing, but it's okay. It has a little shooting mechanism. Um, two trees of bullets. I only take out one for the sake of this review. I just plug it in here, and uh, it will sh sort of shoot. It doesn't shoot uh, like, a, like a BB, but it's okay. Uh, I don't need it to, to shoot like a BB, because that's actually not a good thing to me. Now, the only sticker, the only sticker that I've applied on this toy is the Decepticon logo here. So, Nick Pit, uh, so nitpickers, leave me alone. I really think the Decepticon logo is the only one necessary. Um, has the rub sign. Uh, it, it works perfectly. Anyways, um, comes with his chrome sword, his chrome gun, his uh, stock, his silencer, his uh, scope, and an extra accessory, uh, the mace. Then show you the in the review of this guy. Yes, so it's actually his accessory, as I said. Also comes with this uh, mouse pad. Uh, it's a it's a good little bonus, but it is kind of weird. Got uh, a shitload of Decepticon sticker, so it will help you if you have vintage toy. Like me, uh, that has a uh, sticker broken off, and uh, shit loads of stickers, stickers and cart. I'm not gonna care about that. I'm not gonna put any of them on. Anyways, um, to arm him up, arm to the teeth. It's very simple. Uh, did I get this wrong? Yes, I think I did. No, I did. I gotta correct. Ha ha ha. Uh, silencer. And the uh, stock. There is Megatron in his freaking gun mode. I really like this. This feels very good when you hold it on the hand. Very nice. A big fucking display piece. Anyways, let's transform him. Uh, the transformation is very simple as a G1 toy, but I think it's more complicated than the other dudes. Uh, simple as transformation. Love the classic trigger dick. It's a it's a big bonus that he has a trigger dick. Um, seriously, I really like trigger dicks because uh, dicks are good and triggers are good. And uh, okay. I'm gonna stop this. Split the arms here. Pull out the arm, the fist, everything, and collapse the whole. I shouldn't say collapse, but you take the whole upper body and slide it on here. It doesn't really lock in, but it stays pretty well. There is G1 Gangsta Megatron. I absolutely love Megatron. Megatron, I have to say, is one of my favorite character. May not be my absolute favorite, by, but Me Megatron 
has to be one of my favorite. I really like G1 Megatrons for some reason. I really like the big, the gray body, black booty, black boot, uh, black, <laughs> black boots, and the big fucking fusion cannon. Really love it. As I said, it has the mace that fits into uh, either of his hand. So G Oneers, you're gonna love this. G One Awesomeness is here. And uh, he has a chrome sword, which we sometimes times see it. Big fucking chrome sword, chrome sword, and his gun, which never fits. Anyways, that's G One Megatron reissue Transformers collection. Whatever review. See you.